down. Say hi guys. Hi guys. Hold it out so you can see yourself. Hi guys. Tell them about what you did at school today. Play. You played. What else? This game. Look at what you can do when your child is at school. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, he missed the first half when I was taking care of Brooks, but he is now taking his nap. But he got to be in his baby kitchen. It's the first time you've ever worn him. Uh, I'll have to show you. His first baby wearing experience. I should have vlogged it, but you know, I'm just a slacker like that. We used to wear Gaines like to the first football game like three weeks we after used to she wear was born. When we took her three weeks before she was born. After. <laughs> I was like, how did we do that? <laughs> we used to wear a lot of places when we went. But with him, when you're toting around the toddler, that's got to be picked up a lot, you know? He gets yeah. just in his car seat. But he was being a little cranky this morning, and last night, too. I don't know what his stomach seems to be upset. He's teething. He's got a gross spurt. He's definitely teething. <laughs> <laughs> I am going through Gaines drawers and closet and everything, packing up a box of probably, those are probably... Well, it's hard to label the Gaines clothes <laughs> because those are technically like six to 18 month old clothes. But for her, she wore them like 12 to 18 months. So if we have another girl, I guess I should label them six to 12 months or 18 months so that I'll get them out in time. But big old bin of clothes there, bunch of shoes that she has outgrown. And then all these little baby hats that actually I haven't even gone through since she was an infant. And they've just stayed in that one drawer because they haven't been in the way. But now I feel like there's no need for them to stay in there. But I was excited because I found a couple that will work for Brooks. There's one. This little pumpkin hat is gender neutral so it can be worn again. And then this little elephant. All her other elephant hats, like they've got a little flower on them or um, like that one's got a bow. And of course I could take it off, but it's sewn on pretty well. I don't want to mess it up though. You'll leave me a comment and let me know if you're a like knitter or something, if you think I could cut that out easily without messing it up. I hate to not wear them again, but hopefully, maybe, who knows, in the future there'll be a girl. If not, somebody's going to get a lot of cute clothes handed down to them. She got dropped off this morning at Mother's Day Out for her second week for her second day, so that she only goes once once a week, just a little preschool program, like four hours a day. It was a little bit harder this time to drop her off because as soon as I put her in the car at home, she started saying, gain sad school, gain sad. She was saying that actually last night when I put her to bed and I said, oh, it's gonna be happy, you're gonna have fun and there's friends and it's okay to be a little bit sad when mommy leaves you, but you know, you'll have fun after, you know, things get going. She started saying it when we got in the car this morning, so the whole way there, we talked about, I was like, what are the things that can make you happy at school? And we talked about, what I'd packed for her for lunch and her friends and her toys and her teachers and all that. And then when I handed her over to the teacher, the teacher said, Hey Gaines, how are you? And she said, Gaines sad school. And she got that little pouty lip out and like her face started to get all red. She didn't like break down in tears, but she just got a little teary. So it was a little bit harder today. I don't know. Last week when she cried, I was like, Oh, she'll be fine. And today with her actually saying she's sad, I was like, dang, don't, you're not, don't understand emotion and tell me how you feel. No, but it's good that she can that she can express that and hopefully I'm sure it will go fine And once she got there I watched her for a couple minutes and she wasn't crying She was just kind of standing there looking sad. So hopefully she'll be okay I don't remember if we've ever actually showed you guys her closet before I kind of feel like we did at one point But I'm about to go to the closet next and it is like seriously out of control There's way too much stuff in here and it's all kind of a mess It was really organized a while ago. Maybe when I showed it to y'all but this is the closet before <laughs> way too many clothes there are so many things. A lot of these things down here are like Christmas. There's a football section. We have showed you all this because I told you there was a football section. There's dresses that will fit as she gets older. And then these are all like coats and sweaters and stuff from last year that I don't think will fit. So this is before and I'm going to hopefully get rid of a good bit of that and put it in the too small box so that we can make room and not have it so cluttered in here. And I'm back at it again with the progress. A little bit of progress, but I'm going to clean up because as soon as I get this stuff cleaned up, it will be time to go get her. So I have gotten a lot cleaned out from in here. 
I haven't addressed any of the other stuff, but a lot cleaned out from here. And here is my pile of hangers. So we definitely have enough hangers now to hang up some more things. And this bin is almost full, but I think we still will have some room. I've still got to go through some of the coats and stuff. I left those out last winter because I was like, I don't know. Some of them are a little big, like what will fit next year, what won't. And some of the stuff from this year that I took off the hangers, I'm leaving too. Because a lot of like the girls' dresses will be long enough that next year she can wear them as a shirt. Or the, they will just will still fit. Like they won't be super long, but they'll be like the right length. So save some of those and hopefully I can get this all put up so when she comes back it's not just a disaster still. And back to like it was before. All cleaned up and I've still got time to eat lunch. And I just realized I have a whole laundry basket full of clothes that I've got to hang up and put in her closet. But at least I have hangers to do it now. You guys don't judge. We've talked about this before. I've got a baby clothes buying problem. But I really feel like she accumulates the most clothes or accumulated when she was little because they change sizes so fast and then she could wear so many for so long so um as she's getting older she'll be able to wear things for longer than like six to twelve months you know she'll be able to wear them for a whole year so anyways i know several other of you guys have have the same problem i do but some people buy shoes and purses i buy baby clothes it's just what i do you know and actually a lot of them probably over half of them were gifts or hand-me-downs or whatever else. So it's not like I actually bought all those clothes, you know? <gasps> oh my goodness, you drew this for me? Tell him how you did, how did you draw it? You painted on paper? Oh. Did you have a fun day at school? Did you have fun at school? Tell Daddy about your day. Did you miss Ada? You got a stamp too? Is that a gumball machine? Yeah. Oh my goodness, tell me about it. What'd you do with it? Gumball. Gumball? Gumballs. What color are the gumballs? How'd you do it? Hey, tell Daddy, were you happy at school? Did you have a happy day at school? A little bit? A little bit. <laughs> a little, a little bit, bit of cry. Hey, tell Daddy what made you happy at school. <laughs> music. Oh, you had fun at music? And what else made you happy? <laughs> wow. Whoa. Whoa. Her teacher said she had a good day. She said she cried a little bit. So I think she cried maybe a little bit more than last week. But, and she told me she cried a little bit. But she said she was a little bit happy too. Turn it this way so I can see it. Gumballs. Gumballs. Yay! Mm -hmm. Hold it down just a little bit. Gumballs. <laughs> okay. That's exciting that you're excited. You had a good day. You survived. Yes. Did you flirt with any boys? Do you have a boyfriend yet? Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Silence sometimes means she's not telling me. Give him a sweet, gentle hug. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Give him another one, see if he'll, oh, he's rubbing his head on you. That's so sweet. He loves his Macy Gaines. He never right, Bubba. Oh my goodness. And he loves his Ada Bell. <laughs> Lakers just following everybody around. He's literally like a little dog. Oh my goodness, that's so sweet. Don't squeeze him too hard. I just want to pet the pretty rabbit. <laughs> hey, don't get too rough now. Be sweet, look. Oh, there you go. Good job, buddy. Alley Cat could care less about all this affection. They hold Danes. Oh, you mean hold Danes? You hold Whitaker? <laughs> Are you on his vlog? Hi guys. Hi guys. Hold it out so you can see yourself. Hi guys. Tell them about what you did at school today. Play. You played. What else? This one. Hello world. Hi. Happy to see you. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> this uh, was actually just in the mail. It was sent to us by um, somebody that I was friends with in high school and actually did uh, cheering with, cheerleading with, and uh, she has her own clothing company now. 
and it's called Jordan K Clothing. She actually sent Gaines a yes. uh, little something. A little oh, dress, a little Alabama day. dress that Gaines wore last yes, football season. Eating. Yeah. Yeah, you're eating a little appetizer. The healthiest. Of the appetizers. healthiest fruit snacks <laughs> before we eat some dinner. Emma. Yeah, and you and me are gonna go clean up the cat litter box, right? I yeah. can't clean it anymore because I'm not pregnant. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey boy. But he is a wide awake. Has he been awake. on the vlog today? I don't know if he has or not. Did I don't think so. Did you see him so. got a new outfit? Yeah. It is so cute. She's uh, Jordan K Clothing. I don't know. Katie will probably uh, post an Instagram picture yeah. of him in this. So go to follow check her. Check out her. She has really cute clothes. Y'all know, obviously, we just talked about this the whole first half of the vlog, how much I love baby clothes. But she has adorable kids' clothes. And. Oh, did you just see him reach for me? Look at him. He said, Daddy, let me get your Hi. face. Get Daddy. Hey. Get him. Hey, buddy. Hey. Look at him. He's like checking me out. Hey, Bubba. Oh, boy. All gone. Okay, let's go clean out the cat litter. What but we're saying. she had a little baby born, I think, like three weeks before Brooks. And so they're basically Instagram buddies. They see each other's <laughs> pictures all the time. <laughs> but yes. he's very cute. So go check out his stuff. Check it out. Jordan K. Clothing. Everyday fancy. Oh, and she wrote a little note with Aww. crayons. That's and then, sweet. Congratulations. And she also has two adorable little girls too, but the little boy was just born. Thanks, Christy. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. We really appreciate it. It's a nice little surprise. All right, Katie's about to go cook some dinner. Yeah. Get on it, girl. You got a... I got a bunch to choose from. <laughs> <laughs> you got some options. All right, let's go clean up the cat litter. Good answer. Good answer. Bye bye, Mommy. Have fun. Don't get the hole in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you sweeping up everything good? Get all the little pieces of the extra litter. Yeah, put it in the dustbin there. All right, we got the litter changed out. She was just sitting on the toilet here, and she looked back and she said, Mommy, Daddy, holding starfish. Isn't that what she said? That's so crazy. Did Mommy tell you about the starfish? How'd you know what that was? Mommy had to have told you. That's I actually crazy. just got a picture from her teacher from today. Of, of her, her having plan. fun. She's done that every, oh, she did it uh, the day of the first yeah. day. And then she sent her a text last night and said, can't wait to see Gaines at school tomorrow. Actually, she said, we're well, looking it, forward to another fun week. But or yeah. Whatever. And then um, just sent another, which I'm sure she sends to all the parents. But still, it's just good. I love seeing the pictures. Reassurance, and yeah. that she's smiling. Because if it were up to me, I would have a nest cam set up there with like Ooh. everything. So oh, I could watch it 24-7. Like when we took Ada to doggy daycare, there used to be uh, places that you could log in and get ready to, I mean, get a uh, bird's eye view on her. And see how she's doing with other dogs. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mazzy, Mazzy, are you going to see Mazzy this weekend? Big. Tongue. Big white tongue. <laughs> it's a big white dog. Big white dog with a long tongue. That's my sister's dog. Isn't that right? Annie. Annie, Annie that's, that's right. right. You remember Aunt Annie? Outside. We she used to sit outside. outside. Yeah. How do you remember that? That's crazy. That's the last time we saw her. We sat outside with Mazzy. That is crazy. Oh, I love it. Did you have so much fun painting that? Yeah. yeah. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. Wow. I'm gonna keep this picture forever. If you really are interested in something and then you examine and explore a little bit more, then you get too excited. Cut this whole clip. Not the whole clip. I should just end it now. <laughs>